Welcome to yet another session of On Common Ground. Today, my guest is Stacy Joseph from Old Bridge, New Jersey. Uh, right. <laughs> another Jersey. I'd, uh, so welcome, welcome. Thank you. I, uh, you're a junior. No, I'm senior? a senior. You're a senior. It's 2019. Yes, in nursing. I am. Which is great. Uh, uh, well, I have so many areas to go to. Well, let's say you smiled when you said in nursing. So let's stick with that. Uh, that smile one of uh, happiness it sure is i mean it's a smile that also stems from being very proud i think going through four years of here in nursing <clears throat> has changed me for the better um, i've learned discipline obviously and taking that nap or cracking open that book there's <laughs> you know you can get a lot done in an hour and sure. i really think it's taught me the power of time management mm -hmm. and you know getting stuff done having that go-getter mindset so I, I do it is a happy smile <laughs> that's great and how did you find the program oh gee my mom I have to say I give it all back to her because I am very much a homebody I still am but I do love it here too so this is like my second home sure um, but I do I owe it all to her because she's the one she figured out how to use Google very proud of her now she's on to emojis um, but I owe it all to her so my good. dad supports everything that's she great. does, so that's, that's the way they work. <laughs> that's good, that's good. And so what are some of the things you got involved in here? I, so college is like a buffet for me. I've tasted good. and done almost everything, I think. Um, but I did orientation, I started off with that, um, and I should give credit back to Rob Gilmore because sophomore year I started giving tours, and if you knew me back when I was a freshman and sophomore, it was very quiet. I definitely thought a lot, but I never knew how to voice what I was thinking. So I owe it all to Rob and all of his crazy exercises we went through during training. But he was the one that really taught me how to find my voice here. And then moving on to orientation, um, putting on those khakis and the bow. And there's even a picture of me jumping on Instagram. It's a jump for joy. I love it here. And I owe it all to the people who have helped me get to this point. Uh, have you ever thought of continuing graduate studies then too? Yes. So nursing school, wherever you go, is very difficult. Um, I don't think anyone can write a book or a manual mm. how-to. Um, you just have to do it, like I told you. I mean, Nike already branded that, so I'm, yeah. I'm at a loss for that one. But you just have to do it. And these four years, I've kept my, my goals set, but I've, I've had fun at the same time. So I think I've had a good. pretty good balance here. It's totally possible. How do you think you've changed? Oh gosh, uh, the 63's cookies. Um, <laughs> well, intellectually, I feel like I've changed. I feel like I can write a better paper. I feel like I can talk, like I said now. Mm -hmm. I was always a very thoughtful person, as I had said earlier, so the gears were constantly turning in my head. But when I came to Sacred Heart, it was really here that I learned to say what I felt. Wonderful. You know, and do it in an effective way. Well, you said it earlier, I guess, the best way is finding your voice absolutely which is great um two final questions one the two that i always ask what's your favorite place to hang out on campus gee so this one's gonna throw you off but my work study job is in the biology department and i started off there as a freshman again very quiet um so they put me in the labs and i would clean beakers and everything and they had to move me out because I kept breaking beakers. <laughs> so they um, they put me doing clerical stuff and now I can file faster than you can say the alphabet, so. So that's your favorite place? That is unique, I must admit. <laughs> I'll give you that credit. Well, I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit more. It's the people who that's have fine. made it. That's you great. Know, and I've gotten to know the professors on a personal level um, and even the administrative assistant there. I call her my second mother. Oh, that's so. great. That's wonderful. That's <laughs> sacred art. And the last question, um, if you had to describe Sacred Heart in a word, what would it be? Very colorful, very colorful, literally and figuratively. Um, we walk into clinical on Thursdays in Stanford and there goes the fire hydrants, that's what we're known as. Um, but figuratively, red, it's a power color and, mm -hmm. and here we wear it with such pride. You know, and I, do, I look at it differently now coming to college. It's like sure. red, white, whew, go pioneers, you know? Yeah. So. Definitely very colorful and, and college is like a puzzle and I feel like I'm getting the pieces as I go along and it's That's great. You just have to decide where to put them. No That's regrets. All. No regrets. None whatsoever. That's great. Well, <laughs> well, good luck. Enjoy your last uh, 
semester and a half. Uh, you're watching the countdown clock too? Ah, uh, Central Vision. Not that's looking a, elsewhere. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. Well, enjoy it. We'll see you at graduation. Yes. And uh, who knows? We may see you around Connecticut more. But come back to Sacred Heart. I sure will. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very Stacey. much. Thank you.